What's up, Colonel fans? We're back out here at Roy Kidd Stadium. A little soggy as day 11 wraps up. Coach, you know, does the weather provide a little bit of break? Uh, I don't know if you call it a break. You know, I, I tell the wide receivers that the guys that really can't catch are exposed on days where it rains. So the guys that have gloves on uh, tend to drop the football a lot more. Sorry, fans, forgot to enter. This is wide receiver coach and new special teams coordinator, Coach Koger. Uh, coach, first, we'll get to your new role. What are you hoping to bring to the uh, special teams this year? Uh, I just want a lot of guys that are playing fast and violent, guys that want to be on special teams, and a lot of guys that take pride in being on special teams. Did you spend a lot of time there in your playing career? I did. I did. Even my senior year where a lot of times seniors don't want to play on special teams, I definitely took pride uh, in being on all those units. Now we'll get to uh, where you spent the last two years going into your third season as a wide receiver coach, young this year. What are you looking out of the younger guys this year? First off, you know, Nico Creamer, you know, he's been here for three years, so it's almost like having another coach in the room. Uh, so I don't worry about Nico too much. You know, I hold him to a little bit of a higher standard than the young guys because he knows what the deal is. He knows what I expect out of him. Uh, but for the young guys, they're, they're very talented. Now, they may not know everything that we're expecting of them yet, uh, but the finished project is going to be something that's very exciting uh, in the wide receiver room. What's impressed you the most about the young wide receivers? Because sophomores and younger are what we have outside of Nico. Yeah, that's true. Uh, those guys, I'll tell you what, those guys have played very hard. Those guys have been getting after it. They've been getting great body on body, uh, and they've really been blocking well for their teammates. What can the fans expect from the Coach Koger-led wide receiver core and the special teams this year? Uh, guys that are playing fast and violent, and guys that are uh, taking the top off and making plays on the uh, field on offense. Coach, I like the sounds of it, and I look forward to watching you out there. Yeah, sounds good. Thank Appreciate you. It. Fans now joined by kicker Sam Hayworth. Sam, first and foremost, man, how's camp been going for you? It's been going good so far. Um, long days, but we're excited for the season. As a kicker, you know, do you have to get yourself in a mindset anytime you go out, whether it's kickoffs and uh, field goals? Yeah, um, I really try to focus myself on what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of outside distractions, especially when the team's trying to jump around and get in your head. But over the years, you kind of learn how to how to do that. You don't you don't just you know rock it out here on the football field. You're also like pretty smart cat. You're in the honors program. Why don't you talk about that? Maybe what your major in is, what your uh, plan is for after football. Yeah, so I'm a biomedical science major, um, and I joined the honors college my sophomore year. Um, it's been wonderful. Uh, met awesome professors. Had really good opportunities. Um, I'm hoping to pursue med school, um, but before that, I want to go on uh, and be a two-year missionary um, and share the gospel um, around the world, hopefully. So. Man, that sounds good, man. I wish you luck with that, Sam, and I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for this opportunity um, to play football, and it wouldn't be possible without him. So. Fans are now joined by wide receiver BK Smith. Uh, BK, first and foremost, man, how's the camp been going for you? It's been going real well. I think uh, this team's really coming together, and uh, I think I'm excited for the season. I know all my teammates are, too. Wide receiver core is relatively young. You're part of, you know, the youth movement, if you will. How have you guys been adapting to everything, and what are you hoping to bring this year? Uh, you know, we just come to practice working hard every day, whether it's getting jugs after practice or just staying extra to do extra work. We just we just got to keep working hard, and, and I, I think we're going to do it this year. It's B.K. Smith looking out of B.K. Smith this year. Just giving all I can. You know, I've been doubted all my life, and it's just time to, to, to take what's mine. Nothing like rising above all the doubters, right? Yes, sir. All right, BK, one more question. We'll let you get out of here, man. I know guys, you know, they like to get hyped before a game. A lot of guys, you guys have your headphones on. Like, what is bumping out of your headphones as you get ready for a game? A lot of rap music. You know, Gunner, Young Thug. Like, I got a plenty. I got a lot of rappers that, that I like. So, whatever gets me hyped, I'm going to listen to it. I like the sounds of that, man. BK, appreciate your time. Good luck out there this year. Appreciate it. That's right, Colonel fans. Join us August 30th for some home opening chicanery.